I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually breaking it. Hey guys, <laughs> what's up? For those of you that are new here, it's interesting that you come this time when I'm doing something kind of weird and wonderful, but if you aren't, you might be a little bit surprised by me doing this video. I need no further introduction. You can obviously see I got my lips done. And it's weird to say that because like now I haven't got my lips done. I'm getting my lips done. So there's about to be a whole different story happening now. I don't know what's going to happen, but let's hope for the best. Anyway, this is going to be kind of like a vlog style video. And I just wanted to pop on here before we get going with everything and have just a quick little chit chat about fillers. Now... For a little bit of background, um, it's always a difficult, sticky topic to speak on when someone is involved in body positivity and they make changes to their body or alter them in some way. Have I been thinking about getting my lips done for a long time? Yes. Why have I been thinking about that? The only reason I have been thinking about that is because, you know, I, I sit here and I edit my videos for hours on end, right? And I'm constantly staring at my face. And I love my face. I think, I don't wanna like gas myself up. <laughs> I really do like my face, I think it's cool. Sorry, Maggie's paying, playing in the background. But you know, when you're editing, I always look at my lips for some reason, and it's not necessarily an insecurity, and it never was before I ever started YouTube, but like I have like a weird divot in my, it's not weird, sorry. I have a divot in my lip. So you can always see that this part of my mouth shows a little bit more than this side and that's just like how I was naturally born which is perfectly fine and it's weird I never like noticed it until someone pointed it out to me that's actually involved in this industry anyway long story cut short um background to this I won a competition right I won a competition worth like 45,000 rand so there was a whole bunch of stuff that was involved from facials to actual products um, lash lifts, brow laminations, which I got done by the way. Um, which I'm probably going to make a video on soon, do an unboxing part one and then an experience part two. But part of that was winning a 10,000 rands worth of profiling. Now, I did not think I was going to win, but I did. And I'm very, very grateful because, you know, I don't just have like 10 grand to throw away or 45 grand for that matter. So that's predominantly why I'm doing it. And I was like thinking yesterday, I was like, you know, should I actually film this or not? And I'm either like kind of damned if I do and damned if I don't. But I think the reason like choosing to do it is like the better option. Because, you know, imagine if I didn't say anything and say that I didn't get my lips done and I denied it for a while when I'm in this niche of body positivity I'm basically like lying and you guys know that for those of you that stick around and are on my Instagram and stuff I'm very much about the authenticity I'm very much about like saying it how it is um, no beating around the bush and I think that's what I need to do in this situation as well there is also a different element to this like I could be potentially influencing someone who has insecurities on their body to change them and that's absolutely not why I'm here today. I think it's extremely important to one stop watching this video if you find that you're quite influential and I would say quite young. I would just say please possibly go and watch something else. I don't want to influence people to do things that they might one regret, two might have a botched situation, three might be doing external work but not the internal work and I just want you guys to know that I'm not doing this because I hate my lips. I'm doing it because I got it for free and I'm just like that's 110% like me being honest with you. Would I have got this done if I didn't get for free? I probably would have like put it off for like a good other like five to 10 years. As I said, I don't like find anything wrong with my lips. I'm not like looking to like make them like crazy big or whatever. And I, oh. I'm just really looking to kind of even out my lips on the side specifically and then kind of just make the top lip a li little bit more equal to the bottom lip. I don't like, yeah, I don't really know what else to say besides the fact that like I hope you guys appreciate me like being honest with you and I hope it goes well. Um, let's hold fingers. I am going to a lady in Pretoria. Her name is Dr. Melinda. Like she is insane, right? I'm going to link her Instagram over here for you guys. 
I came across her page, I don't even know how, but like it was not through the competition. I knew about her a few months before and like I would sit with Alika and we would just go through all the like befores and afters and she also like fixes botched lips. And like if there's anyone that has like God given talent to try and like make people feel better about themselves in that sense, she has it. I don't think I would ever go to anyone else for my lips unless they were like in Miami or something like that. So let's hope for the best. I'm gonna carry you on along for as long as I can. I know that there's certain parts of the procedure that I can't film because she has like special techniques. I'll just do like a little before and after now and then... I'm kind of scared because one of my like... I wasn't gonna say one of my friends but uh, her name is Sailor Dean. Um, she is a friend on Instagram. She recently got hers done and they look amazing, but like the pain situation looked like a lot for her. So I don't really know what kind of pain tolerance I have. So let's hope it's a good one. I know that they're gonna put numbing cream on my lips, but yeah, let's go guys. Wish me luck. <sighs> okay, so I just arrived. I'm a little bit late, so I'm gonna quickly run in there. Um, and see what's up, but oh my god, I'm still so nervous. <sighs> just breathe, Alex, just breathe. I already have a numbing lip, oh, numbing cream on my lips and it feels so weird already so I'm just filling out a form waiting to get the things done but yeah it feels so weird we have wiped off the numbing cream my lips feel super weird I can't even talk properly but um, I'm only gonna film a few parts of the procedure um, but let's do it We have had the first injections um, and now we're going to film this part. Oh my gosh. Okay, just lift your chin a little bit. Perfect. And open up for me. are quite swollen right now but look they are so even it looks so pouty so big this is the beautiful lady in Hi. question this is the magician dr melinda oh, everyone so yeah i'm gonna go home now and next two days you said they should next be next two days they're gonna be swollen exciting. yeah <laughs> but anyway that wasn't too bad the pain really wasn't that bad it was probably like a like a six or a seven out of ten for me um, but yeah, now I go and rest my lips. Bye. A few moments later. Oh my god. <gasps> it was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Okay, so she said that they were really swollen. Oh my god. It's gone for real. <gasps> Wait a fucking minute. Okay, so... I can't even sh- oh my god. <gasps> I'm freaking out a bit. Um... <sighs> it's not the end of the world. 
Right. If they are too big, I'm just gonna get them dissolved. I'm actually like stressing out now. That looks crazy, crazy big. Oh my god. Lord, please help me. I'm just gonna go home now and ice this and see what happens. But I'll keep you updated for- oh my god, I can't take myself seriously. Please send help. <laughs> no, I actually can't speak to you. I haven't had food at my house for probably like three days or something crazy like that, so... I'm starving and I have zero food to eat at home, so I had to like go to the shops. Um, and didn't want to order takeaway because that shit's expensive. But one of the positive things about this whole situation is that we have to wear masks in public because there was no f***ing way I was going to go into that shop, I can't even talk, without wearing a mask. So kind of saved my life a bit, but like what the f***? <gasps> oh my god, I'd rather just keep that on. So I just got home, I sat in the car for like 45 minutes just in like dead silence and this is the first time I'm like looking at my lips properly. It's me, Alex, do you remember me? Come, come on. No, she doesn't. Like f*** me, they are huge. Excuse my language, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Like, I can definitely already see that, like, there's some bruising. It's gonna happen. Specifically over here. And they're just f***ing massive. I'm just praying to God that they go down because I feel like I look like a clown. One thing I did not mention to all of you is that, like, I typically swell very easily. So, I think I have, like, some weird disease-y thing called dermographia. I think that's how I pronounce it, but basically if I like scratch myself, it like raises instantly or like if I bump myself, it raises instantly. So typically with like injuries, this is kind of what's supposed to happen. This is what it's like from the side. Oh my god. Okay, anyway, it's about 2 o'clock, so let's see what it is in a couple of hours. I'm just going to ice the hell out of it and see if that makes it better. And it's starting to hurt a little bit. I can't even fit this bottom lip in my mouth. It's about like 9pm or so, and my lips still look crazy. I just had a shower. There's like a lot of bruising going on. I just feel so like gross right now if my lips aren't gonna go down by like 50 percent i'm definitely like gonna go and get them dissolved because this is not a vibe for me specifically this is new and i've been icing my lips so i don't know what's going on but yeah i'm just praying to god that i wake up tomorrow morning excuse my messy house and I have like a lot less swelling because this is not it. I literally look like Angela from Mob Wives. Angie, what was her name? You know who I'm talking about. And I can't even talk properly. Like this bottom lip is so big. <gasps> Good morning, everyone. It is day two. It's still been less than 24 hours. And this is what my lips look like. Definitely not what I had expected when I woke up this morning. I was just praying that they would be a lot smaller. Which they aren't. They are quite sore this morning, I'll be honest. Or well, they feel like quite hard and like um, bumpy, lumpy. Hey, baby. And yeah, I haven't iced them yet. I've just washed my face. So that's what I'm going to do now. No, no, no. Just stay here. And... That's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day and the days to come. I'm obviously not going anywhere, but if I am going anywhere, it'll be to actually just go to the shops again and get some actual real food. But with a mask on. <laughs> and 
yeah i won't even lie it's like making me a little bit sad um no 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 i also have a shoot that's coming up that was actually made to happen next week thursday but thankfully it's actually been postponed so that's a blessing in disguise and one positive thing to think about one of the things i didn't mention was that i think i got 0 0.6 or 0 0.7 of a syringe can't remember but i filmed this so many times i can't remember if i have shown you my lips properly but this is the bruising situation uh it looks pretty bad specifically on the sides and this side hurts the most and over here but yeah i had a lot of injections um sometimes you only get like six injections sometimes you only get four i probably had like 20 i don't know <laughs> but it's just down to the technique that she uses right now it's probably about nine o'clock in the morning <sighs> so i'll do a little bit of update around lunchtime and see what's going on which um so far not so good hello everyone it is currently friday today already as you can see my lips have definitely gone down um i woke up in this morning and they were actually kind of sore so this is the first day that it's been really sore and as you can see they're quite bruised mm. and they feel quite lumpy but i was told that on day five i can start massaging them Every time I look in the mirror, they definitely have gone down and I think that they actually do look like my lips, but obviously just a bit more swollen. And funnily enough, I saw like a before and after picture on their Instagram page today and I was like, wow, that's like a very big difference. We shall see what's going to happen. I'm just glad that they've gone down. Like this is definitely smaller than yesterday, right? What I really like about them at the minute, even though I would still like them to go down, is that when I smile, my lip doesn't completely disappear. And it was never something that I was like self-conscious about or whatever. It's just something I was like, mm, it would be cool if I had more lip. But <laughs> um, as you can see now, when I smile, I still have a lip before. It is not like, I can't even curl in my lip and I don't think I should be. Now you can see my tape edge. Next stop. I'm going to probably be getting some Invisalign because your girl had braces once upon a time and then she lost her, what do you call it, plate or whatever. And now, unfortunately, my teeth have started to move, so I'll keep you updated if anything else happens, but so far, so good. Hey guys, so it's actually been a few days since I've updated you and you can see things have changed since then. My skin's also such a mess at the minute. I don't know what's going on. I think it's because I'm sleeping on the side of my face. Maybe I need to change my pillowcase or something. But anyway, what has happened? In the past two, three days that I haven't filmed, I won't lie to you guys, my lips are actually quite sore. Um, I felt like I got punched in the face a little bit, but predominantly when I wake up in the morning, and that's probably because I wasn't icing it at the time. Uh, what else? The bruising has like completely gone now. It's just been replaced with pimples. Hey. I've been massaging my lips, so basically you're supposed to do it like three times a day. Um, and I don't know if I'm doing it properly, but today is Tuesday, so it hasn't even been a week yet. It will be a week tomorrow. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with them. The only thing is, is that like, I told you guys, like the number one thing I really wanted, like changed was that like gap in my lip over here. And obviously there's still a lot to do, but you can see that it's still like skew. And it doesn't help that my little tooth is gone skew, so it's like coming forward more. I'm gonna go and see her in next week Wednesday. Oh my god, I might be in Cape Town. Oops. Anyway, I'm gonna have to go back and then get it like refilled because that's the only part that's really bugging me. Other than that, I really like the shape. I think it looks quite cute. It looks like my lips, but just like a little bit fatter. You know what I mean? It still feels weird, super weird. I won't even lie. It feels like I have stuff in my lips. I'm going through lip ice like there's no tomorrow. I need to find that lip ice. You know that like that one. But I've been using Vaseline and then I have this other random one that I've been using. But I have heard that like there's a Eucerin one that's pretty good. So I'm going to try that out. So if you guys have any other suggestions, please leave them below. Obviously available in South Africa. 
Um, but yeah, man, that is my day six update. For those of you that don't know, we have a little something in South Africa called uh, low chilling. So that's happening right now and I'm trying to film this without lights before I go to Cape Town. But I just wanted to show you what my lips look like today. Tomorrow will be two weeks. So basically 13 days in and this is what my lips look like. Um, strange thing. On Saturday, I went out with my friends for Kani's birthday. And like just in general, I'm quite socially anxious. So um, I tend to like play with my lips a lot in general. And now it's like magnified times 10 because it feels weird. And I was like in a very busy social space as well. Wearing a mask. By the time I took my mask off, I didn't even realize how uneven they were. But yeah, like they definitely don't feel like lumpy anymore. I still need to massage them a bit. There's like one little part that's a bit strange. I'll show you. Um, over here. Don't know if you guys can see, but I don't know if it's because I bit my lip or what the f is going on over there. But like there's a ball of something going on there. Am I happy? I am happy. I'm still a little bit self-conscious of them. It's kind of weird to talk to be completely honest with you. So they're definitely like a lot poutier. Like specifically like on my top lip. You can see that there's a very defined cupid's bow now. Mm, my bottom lip kind of is pretty much the same. A little bit filler like over here and over here. I'm not wearing lip liner or anything right now, um, which is kind of cool because I actually don't need to wear like lipstick and lip liner anymore. Like if I do put lip liner on, they look massive, um, which maybe I'll show you now versus with lip liner. Let me quickly do that for you. Okay, so this is my lips with lip liner. I just used a little bit of uh, MAC in Whirl. So you can see that they like look a little bit more defined, more like pouty, more like in your face. Hello guys! So today is actually 15 days since I got my lips done. Um, I was kind of deliberating if I should end the video here or if I should only film it in the next couple of weeks and finish it off properly. But this is what my lips look like today. Um, I recorded a segment maybe like three or four days ago speaking about how I was quite a bit upset about my lips and um, the symmetry of them was off and I've still got this dip here and it's quite ironic because that's like the only thing I needed to fix but I do 100% understand that with regards to this it starts swelling from the second you put the first injection in and it's quite hard to balance things out when everything's swollen so what's gonna happen is in the next probably two to three weeks, I'm gonna go back and get it fixed up. Then I'll do a part two of this. I'll either add it into a vlog or just make a quick little video of the final, final, final. But this is what my, lip, my lips look like two weeks and a day after the procedure, I guess you would call it that. So I definitely like, I like them. I think they pretty much look like my lips. I was actually speaking to my sister yesterday and she says that they look quite different. So um, I didn't think that. But yeah, but I do like the fact that when I smile, my whole lip doesn't completely retract into my face. So that is that for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe. We are literally, I think, about 700 subscribers away from getting to 10k so we are so 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 close and if you want to be a part of the peach fam subscribing is a good way to get notifications as to when i upload videos this is the first time people are going to see my lips i've recorded a few other videos with my lips done and i thought that it would just make sense if i posted this one today so that you guys aren't like girl what's going on but thanks for watching. Thanks for being here today. If you guys have any questions, you can definitely send me a DM. But as I said at the beginning of this video, I just hope that you guys understand why I did it. And that changing your face and your body is 100% up to you. And there's no judgment here whatsoever. And yeah. That's that, yo.